Alright guys, um, PJ again. Um, today I'm going to talk about, as the title says, uh, weathering pigments and making your own. Um, you know, I use the four drilled weathering powders, um, but I found them to be quite expensive. I mean, it's almost three pound just for one, for one tub, and um, I've seen the videos online and had a bit of a shop around my local art stores, and um, I was lucky enough to find um, some soft pastels. Um, these are earth tones, um, quite cheap actually. That they were, I think they were seven pound sixteen. You get quite a lot in here um, of different shades and, and things like that, and. Uh, yeah, and these were on half price, so I, I managed to get two of these boxes for about the same price as it would be, obviously, for, for one box, about seven, seven, seven sixty, something like that. And um, that was just from a local art suppliers, which is renowned for being quite expensive. I'm sure you could probably get these cheaper offline. Um, I don't know whether you'd get them half price because I know that these guys, where I got these from, are moving premises at the moment. So uh, yeah, my hobby, my uh, not hobby, but my art supply store is moving, which is a bit of a nightmare. Um, anyway, so I just wanted to go over how easy it is to make your own weathering pigments. Um, they don't mix so great with water. Um, I don't know whether that's just me not mixing them enough, but for me, I found that they they just don't mix very well. Um, so basically, yeah, I'll go over some of the tones you get in here. Um, you know, they come in a nice box well stored out of the way, you're not taking up a load of room, move that out of the way, so you know, you, you get the, 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 the earth tones which you've sort of got, the sort, the dark rusts, dark mud, and then you get onto the lighter rusts, probably the oranges, I, I, can't, I, I can't see me using them there for anything specific, um, and same with the yellow, um, but you've got sandy colours here, maybe for a real, real pale rust colours these two but these two I'm unsure about I'm, 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 I haven't tried them on anything yet um, so basically what I do is I, I've got one of these little pots and I take it all so just move these out of the way so say we use uh, the desert colour because that will probably show up the best <coughs> excuse me guys I've not been very well unfortunately so my wife has given me the plague so basically you, you basically take an old hobby knife I'll just zoom in for you Again, there we go. An old hobby knife, and you can see where I've tried the yellow already. Uh, and then basically, back edge of the blade, very simply. Now, bear in mind, guys, these aren't going to be as pigmented. There's, there's not going to be as much pigment in here as there would be in the four drilled weathering powder just because um, there's obviously some sort of binder in here to hold them all together so there won't be as much pigment as here but hey it's what a, a fraction of the price that you're paying for, for the forge world stuff so yeah and it works uh, yeah, really well I'll, uh, yeah. I'm quite impressed with it, it works really well, I'll just grab an old brush and basically uh, I've got a, a, a razor back that I've been working on so just, it collects really well on the brush and you know, it goes on okay you're probably going to have to add two or three layers whereas you probably wouldn't have to do so much with the forge road but as I said you get in you get in it for half the price so probably not showing up so well on there I don't know how well that's showing up there we go yeah it's coming along okay um, yeah I mean they're okay they work really well um, that didn't make sense um, I find them working really well um, not as effective as the forge world but then I'm being a bit cheap on this so yeah See, well you know hope you uh, found the video helpful guys and uh, well
catch you in the next one.